to another episode of Plant Based Dads. I'm Joey. I'm Tim. And today we are continuing the uh, the Baking with Tim series, of, uh, holiday baking series, right? Um, one of the things we do every year is we make these bird's nest cookies. Well, you make them, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. Super basic. Uh, we found vegan chocolate chips, low in sugar, from Costco. Yeah, it's just the big bag of yeah. the white bag of Costco. They have like a beige bag that has oil in it. Or has milk in it. No. That's milk chocolate. These are made with the dark ones, right? Correct. And then we're using chow mein noodles. And then we've got some marshmallows from Trader Joe's. Those are vegan. Um, so you can see how we've dressed these up. This looks worthy of bringing to someone's house for the holidays or to work. So we wanted to get this video out to show you an option if you're trying to figure out what to do. These are a lot of fun so. because we're going to show you the simple way to make them. And then we'll show you afterwards how decorated they are. But really... Just the chocolate and the chow mein noodles. Yeah. No oil. Well, this, this, the chow mein noodles are made with oil, but at this point of the year and the holidays, yeah. you know, if you can just not add oil, that's really good. Yeah, right? so low and low in sugar as well, I feel. So um, this is a great option we want to share with you today. <laughs> I want to take a quick moment to thank our patrons. If you're not a patron yet, there's a link below this video on how you become a patron or a PayPal supporter. Uh, their financial support helps us put the show together and get the plant-based message out to the public. So if you're interested in doing that, there's a link right below, and we thank you for your help. Thank you. And of course, we want to say hello to our friends. We've got our one of our good holiday friends, Leroy. What do you think, Leroy? <laughs> And, of course, Little Red's here. Little Red is sporting his uh, flamingo, uh, kind of coincidental. Uh, uh, Tim's uh, mom and dad are here from, uh, from Florida, so uh, we're paying a little homage to that with his little pink flamingo. Yeah, it's cold out. I've got my Minnesota sweatshirt, and we just realized unboxing some new outfits that came in. Yeah, that you, she's from Minnesota. You can see that yeah. uh, the redelfshop.com, which is where we get all of his uh, little red clothes. Uh, they're from uh, Little Canada, Minnesota. And uh, look how pe beautifully packaged everything comes. Uh, all of Little Red's uh, uh, outfits are furnished from the redelfshop.com. Give, uh, give them a look online and uh, tell Juliana we said hello. All right, you're absolutely gonna love it. Let's get to the food. The first thing we need for our bird's nest cookies are 24 ounces of chocolate chips. We're using the Costco dark chocolate chocolate chips. Normally we would put uh, these chips in the microwave to melt them, but we doubled the recipe here, so that wasn't gonna work. So we use a double boil on the stove. After they're melted, we're just gonna pour them all right into this large mixing bowl. I wanna get all of that chocolate out of there. That's all the goodness right there. Next, we're adding two cups of chow mein noodles. You can see right here, they're just those packaged dry chow mein noodles. I'm gonna add those right into my chocolate, and that's all the ingredients. Now I'm gonna use a spoon and just try and carefully fold them all together. I don't wanna damage the noodles, I wanna keep them intact. Here you can see it's just kind of a chocolatey noodle mess and there's not much else to it. This is perfect right here. Now it's time to start making the bird's nest. We're just gonna grab a tablespoon and start tablespooning them onto the wax paper here. And there's really no definitive shape. They're just little kind of nests. And we'll just do one tablespoon at a time. And as we go along, we're gonna take up the whole counter doing this. And you'll just keep going till you've used up all of the, I don't wanna call it dough, but all of the batter, I guess. And here you can see we've got quite a bit of them. I think we came to about 48 to 50 of them. The great thing about these are there's no bake. We just, they're just going to dry just like this and harden up. And you can see by this overhead shot, it really is just chocolate and chow mein noodles. That's all there is to these. You can leave these on the counter to set or you can throw them in the fridge. Either way, it works out fine. But try not to touch them until they've hardened. Now we've got the finished product and you can see here they're plain with nothing on them and that's a good way to eat them. And look at this, we're just gonna snap one in half here, and it's a beautiful little, like, chocolate cookie. I mean, it looks elegant and decadent, but really, it's just two simple ingredients. Chocolate and chow mein noodles. What's not to love? I can't wait to dig in. Wait till you see what they look like when they're decorated. All right, and I mean, it's that simple. You, you use two ingredients, right? Yes. So now, we made the simple version, right? But you know, if it's holiday and family's here and there are vegan marshmallows and you can make your own stuff to put on top. So we kind of dressed some of these up. Really, truth be told, we're sending these out. We send cookies out every year to family uh, across the country <laughs> and they love these cookies, right? But so absolutely. We're totally okay just eating them with the chocolate on it. Uh, but the family has come to, to love these things. All right, so that's our video for today. Really quick and easy, no bake bird's nest cookies, right? 
Yes. Hit that like button, show us some love. What's not to like? Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. You get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Tuesday. And please leave a comment below. And the holidays, really tough to stick to stringent diets when, uh, you know, we got family visiting and all that. But, you know, these cookies are a really good idea. They're no bake. They're very minimal in damage, right? Yeah. Uh, the scale hasn't it. moved the for scale, me. Well, so we're doing good. Yeah, we're doing good so far. Me either, but that's another <laughs> whole problem. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>